flower and bloom as I know you can. Probably just a dead cat. Maybe a few dead. Ready or not. You do not have an appointment, yet you seek an audience with Mr. Carrion. Ah, yes. I have heard the spirits whisper. Tell me, what did you make of its contents? You have not read it. Those with more sanguine natures are rarely a ch ah. But wait. They have a message for you. A most valuable one. Safety. It is sufficient to say you will not be harmed. Oh, no. This message comes from spirits I have collected. Those with great knowledge in life. Great wealth. Spirits! Mr. Carrion calls on you! Come forth! Listen! Obey! They are here! Yes! They know of the necromancy of Fae! They fear it! They do not want its power! Release! Stalker, the game, the book must remain sealed. It seems that if you want to unlock the mysteries of the necromancy, you must find the Tharkiaton Codex. A simple ask for such a potent prize. A necromantic grimoire of some repute, mostly ill. There is a place, Sorcerer Sundries. It is the closest to a necromantic emporium this city has to offer. If a copy of the Tharkiad Codex has entered this city, it will rest on their shelves. Be warned. The necromancy of Thay is not a book for idle study. I share my spirit's concerns about your... aptitude for such knowledge, alas. And further education on the subject would cost far more than you are able to pay. Now, unless you have any further business with me, I... I always have items of interest to those of a curious disposition.
Let's go. in here. Hardly a challenge. Well, hello, beautiful. <sighs> if only it was fresh.
what would Carrion be doing down in the ruins under the city? curse protection of course who knows the horrors these cults satisfaction ah say you what gods Gortash has a mother I assumed he sprang fully formed from a lich's ass crack or something He's one and only. I've been. Your tadpole squirms. These people are infected with the parasite, but something is off. You search her mind, but the psionic forces that control her are different, split somehow. Your own consciousness slips into the gap. Help me! God, help me! Ember's ruined my mind. He's taken my body. I should have slammed the door in his face, but I let him in and he rammed some kind of worm in our eyes. I'm here, but I can't speak. I can't act. I'm trapped. He said he wanted to make us powerless. Still bitter after all these years, but we did what was best for him, for all of us. We had debts, world-ending debts, trying to keep this cursed shop afloat. Dangerous lenders who said they'd bury us all if we didn't pay. Then a warlock offered us a pretty penny for Enver's service. He was a smart boy. Too smart. It was give him up and all of us live or refuse and die. What choice did we have? We got good coin for him. Closed our debts and all of us kept our lives. Enver included. You may disagree, Enver did, but we don't deserve this, this torment. You're the first person who's heard the real me in months. My son. You've seen what he's like, same now as when he was a boy. Hateful little wretch. If you were me, you'd have sent him away too, believe you me. Your tadpole lashes and recoils. The connection is broken. My goodness, what are you... Doing. This 
So, Gortash's parents sold him to a warlock. Why does that sound so familiar? I've got no interest in empathizing with the fuck. But maybe what he did to me was some kind of mirror of what happened to him. When you get fucked up, you fuck up right back. Out of that boy. After friend, got grub, potions, a few nice vintages. Best stock up now before someone clears me out to fill their larder. Anything else? This is the private abode of Alexander Rainforest. Friends make appointments, clients respect office hours. This guard caught you picking a lock. Perhaps you'd like to try the lock of your... Some guards would appreciate your generosity, but not this one. This one prefers old-fashioned justice.
converted. But we don't deserve this, this torment. You're the first. Maybe, maybe not. It's for the gods to wait. What? Your tadpole lashes. Come again. Be very welcome to Flim's cobblers. He may not have followed Cortash's dad. Same treatment as his mum, I guess. You focus on the source of the power, but it is quiet and still. It needs to rest. What? What? What are you doing? So, Gortash's parents, I've gotten when you get fucked. Have you seen any gazetteers around? Need to see if the new edition's out yet. It's much safer this side of the city walls. Should have at least locked the place. Come on, Tony. Come on, Tony. The corpse regards you lifelessly.
dribbles first. Oh, and it smells even worse than it looks. Oh. What are we here? Plenty of knowledge to be found in these books and scrolls, friend. That will stand to you long after the spent gold is forgotten. My stall's no... Live music at the singing lute. They sing for their supper while you eat yours. Hank out. Keep out. everyone subscribes to Wondrous news. No piss in her shit. If you break it, you pay for it.
can't you feel it? Feel what exactly? You appear to be lost, dear. I specialize in fashion, not... Potato. A certain level of class is expected by my clientele. So if you... Well, the feeling is... De if she would just accept my offer to work here, I sell the best you'll find in Boulder's Gate. So a certain ineffable quality. Very good, sir. Now remember, fuck! me with your Drab attire, or if you are the practical, a skeleton would be more accurate. You have good bones, darling. You just need decoration, and you're in the right place. Remember. Yes, let's. A customer. Come, Docker. You look like someone who knows their way around a loot. Or perhaps you enjoy the drums. Flute? No. Liar. Thank you for...
my shop's pilfered every day. It's very well, well, isn't it? Please, 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 to think that I'm both brilliant and extremely Here is the grunting of a swine. Come closer so I can rip out your filthy tongue. Stop this. I love you, Oscar. And I know you love me. It's your gold I love, Hogwife. But all the riches in Faerun would not be enough to make a life with you worth living. Oh, gods, aid me. He does not mean the things he says. You! Help subdue him, but be gentle. He's not to blame. Now, 
not that I'm ungrateful for your help, but... Wait. Your face is familiar to me. Yes, I've seen it before. Or an Oscar's sketches. I used to be. Now I'm his wife. Had I known this would happen, I... Oh, who am I kidding? I'd still have married him. Not long after the wedding, he lost his appetite, fell into dark moods. He started to avoid my company entirely. Artistic temperament, I thought. But it worsened. He became violent. Called me some rather imaginative names. I hesitate to say it. Something unnatural has taken hold of him. Oscar has been possessed. It's true, he lashes out at everyone. I had to send my staff away for their safety. I can't come within arm's reach without him trying to strangle me. It's not him. I know he would never hurt me. And I promised I would let... As you can... Please. You saved him once. You... Oscar's behavior... I tried... Whatever this...
finding my way. I might. <laughs> Easy. This way. My faith will guide me. Especially when it unlocks secrets. The portrait is ice cold to the touch, filling you with a sense of overwhelming dread. Why is the woman smiling? Please, Carrie, my darling, listen to me. You brought me here. You did this. Do not interfere. He's coming home with me. Another one who wants to control me. He called me here trapped me pathetic little childish boy i only wished to explain myself to make you see how no enough of your whining enough selfish arrogant bastard of an artist i wanted to be left in peace And how does that help me? Or is it just to help him? Why does everything always have to revolve around Oscar Beverus? 
Oh, my sweet Carrie. What did I do to you? Save your tears for the ethereal play. What are you saying? You're trying to confuse me. It's so hard to think. I don't remember. Carrie, my sweet meat. I, I just need to know that what you did. Why am I here? I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be. The spirit's aura flickers, changes. She is confused, lost, dragged here unwillingly by a man who refused to let her leave. wants the truth he can have it we were a fling nothing more my decision had nothing to do with him I did this because I was so fucking sad all the time Oscar finds it easier to imagine a world where women kill themselves over him and one where they have their own bloody problems I'm sorry, Kerry. I had no idea. But I... I was truly not to blame. No. You weren't. So you and your poxy paintings stay away from me! We're done, Oscar. Over. Now let me rest in bloody peace. Gods, what a mess I've made of it all. My sweet Ferelia. I've been a rotten fool, haven't I? And yet you never left my side. It will take more than a ghost to scare me away. Though I wish you'd come to me sooner. I... I'd like to stay. I, I confess I never felt ours was a marriage of... Throughout my ordeal, truly, you were the one who saved me. I'm s Please, before you go, come upstairs to my attack. Here he is, the hero of the hour. Brushes are oiled, the canvas prepped, and you... Well, you're comfortable. That's the main thing. So, shall we begin? Oh, not long at all. I've rather a good memory for faces, and I've been sketching yours since my return. I just need to add the final touches to capture that unique twink. Wonderful. Stand yourself just there, and... And voila! <sighs> All it needs now is a name. Something to cap... A very traditional... Please, take it... He really captured you.
A quick rummage. I felt horrible about that one. To show off the scar to her friends at school. I couldn't wait for a time when she would stop needing this. <sighs> really? I swear, this fist is just trying to provoke me, but I'm... ...in the stench of the foundry. Belching smoke and metal screeches. Keep the city peaceful, my ass. Think I'll just... These common folk need... Magic, he hate them. No matter I'm what just the man saying, says. Maybe there's a reason for that weird feeling of yours. So you believe me then? Park's no place for us. You feel an old too familiar. Or perhaps you'll find something bloodier. The absolute warriors are at work, just beyond here. Nothing's going on. And eat absolute's business. Got it? Huh. There's something going on here. I don't like it. Careful. I smell an ambush. Are you sure it's not flowers you smell? You may be allergic. We redden our steel by the light of day, but you are It seems you've won Lady Oren's favor. Join us in this act of slaughter in Baal's name. Aim. Then you betray Oren and Baal him. Let this murder be his son. 
Entering her mind is like stepping aboard a sinking ship. The architecture of her consciousness buckles and collapses. Thoughts yield to a flood of overwhelming power. The Elder Brain. Do not waste time. This mind cannot bear us. It turns to liquid. Listen, just listen. We learn, we grow. Loosen our clumsy bindings. Aid us. Necromancer, dead. Changeling and tyrant remain at odds. Kill them. You have a place in my grand design. The Elder Brain can control anyone with a tadpole? That's, uh, concerning. What? What happened? Why do I taste copper? Sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. Step quick. Spent a lot of time in this park as a boy, battling imaginary monsters. Truly, this petty. The blushing mermaid. 
drinking hole, dear readers. In fact, hole may be the perfect word to describe this. Half the new recruits will be in the same way. There's no rush. Due to the presence of prohibited substances and apparatus, this house has been reclaimed by order of Archduke Enver Gortash. Just one go, please. That's all I ask. I'm sorry, I can't help you. I already said no. Now move along. You're scaring away my customers. That might be worth a look. Got a few souvenirs from the night stuck to your chin. Aye, and you smell like that place down the docks where they don't have the fish guts. What you have to say? open. Traps. How considerate. Just help myself. Present of Baldur's Gate, city of crime and chaos. No. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know first, so you have to go. I 
welcome thee to the de Oh no. Definitely something up with this one. Trust me. A most excellent decision. Coin and time. Your esteemedness returns. Oh, joy. Something over there. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. returns only took a leg off. I wouldn't give you anything I wouldn't eat myself. Like I was born in a bathtub. You speak as if the plague crone is not already here, striding among us. a clean decapitation. I'll give them that. It's that pelvis. Cards. You are... have attracted attention. It seems an explanation may be in order. You may have talked your way. Over here. Yeah. 
Graffiti from before. I never thought I'd see it again. Well, I think I was the one who did it. I can recognize my own handwriting. How long ago was this? Years? All the time I spent training, hidden away from the world, I think... I think I must have wanted to leave my mark somewhere, just to prove I existed. <laughs> just the sort he'll deal with. Welcome to the House of Grief. Or perhaps welcome is the wrong word, Shadowheart. There's been some debate whether you'd even show up and face the consequences of your actions. I assumed you tried to flee, like a craven. Do I know you? I like to be on a first name basis before I give someone a thrashing, ideally. You haven't changed one bit, have you? I hope you remember it all in the end. I want you to know how much of a failure you truly are. It will come. All in due time. As I said, in due time. First you submit to the mapping of the heart. Only then can we know what is to be done with you. This is the House of Grief. We strive to help those whose hearts have grown heavy, be it with anger, melancholy, grief, or treachery. Submit to the mapping and reveal what lurks in your heart. If you consent, follow me. If you do not, leave. House of Grief welcomes you, and stands ready to ease your troubles. A long way to go still. You seek to be unburdened, yes? The mapping of the heart. That voice. Allow me. I think I'm supposed to do this. Do you know why you are here? There is something I lost. No. Had taken from me. My family. My life. I want it all back. Loss is a gift, girl. Do you still not understand that? Now give me the true answer. What is your purpose in being here? The artifact. I was sent to retrieve it. At any cost. And who tasked you with this mission? The Mother Superior. Of Shah... It's you. 
Give me the honor of my name. In full. I... I can't. My memories... I know what's in that head of yours better than you do, girl. My name. Mother Superior. Viconia Devere. You still have the wits to recognize your betters. Good. Now descend. You have much to answer for. She hides behind a projection. It's time we find the Mother Superior in flesh. Don't touch me. Subtle steps. Let's see. Stolen childhood spent in these halls. The Mother Superior must be close. Soon this will all be over. Keep going. The Mother Superior is expecting you. how you disgraced yourself before Lady Shah, how she marked you as the enemy. But it is quite another thing for them to see it for themselves. I am very glad you decided to return. A cautionary tale such as yours will be studied by Lady Shah's initiates for years to come. But perhaps I can make a case for some small measure of mercy. Give me the artifact, and I can at least make this quick. Enough. I don't answer to you. Not anymore. I'm here for my family. That's right. I know what you did. And it's not going to be quick. This is your family. And now you have turned your back on it. The artifact was your last chance to prove yourself. And you squandered it. Such misplaced camaraderie. <laughs> How about this? Surrender this one to me, now, and you can leave freely, and consider Lady Shah's forces your allies in the battles to come. As you like. Lilala! For Shah! just what to do.
do it. Lady Shah's will shall be done. Um Shah's night shall fall. The Dark Lady fools must die!
Much longer.
blocked his path. Lady Shah's will shall be done. Sure's witch fall.
Enemies fool. <laughs> Thank you. 
Lady Shah's instrument. <laughs> you cannot win. is gonna fall. Lady Shah's will shall be done. The guard lady fools must die! an embrace of fang and claw.
Let's have some cotton. Let's cook with fire, baby. Well, well. Look what we have here. my parents. 
keyhole. Uh, all that time practicing my lock picking wasted. Can't be another vile trick. No, there is no trick. It's her, Genevieve, Jan, a little girl. Moon Maiden's Grace, it is you. I'm here to get you out of here. They're all gone. It's over. where my power resided. Every time you tried to step away from me, every time you tried to reach for Saluna, my hold on you bites deeper. If you had learned, if you had obeyed, there would be no pain. But you struggle on. You will make things worse for yourself and for them. Sister set the sun aflame. Now you exist to suffer until you find your way back to my embrace. Enough! I'm taking my parents away from here. I'm taking them away from you. You cannot. We are still bound to you. You cannot both free us and free yourself from her curse. The Moon Maiden needs you more than she needs us. You are the future. You must return to the fold. We are the past. And our duty is almost done. Eloquently put. His mind stood up well to his time here. The same cannot be said for your mother. Such brief, fragile lives humans lead. This is my final lesson. I leave you now to dwell on your mistakes and make your choice. Shah's parting words make your flesh crawl. There is no lesson to be learned here, only a family's torment, a spiteful goddess's whims, and an unspeakable choice to be made. She's gone. I, d I don't understand. Shah will never admit defeat. Not until she has stolen one last thing from you. We cannot allow your future to be her last prize. Not after all your mother and I have endured to see you again. Your companion understands, I think. Help her, please. Help her see what must be done. And you did. You found us. All these years, that dream kept us going. That you would break free. 
No matter what they made you do to us, we knew you were still in there. I knew the Dark Woods wouldn't frighten you. You were always such a brave girl. She was, and still is. You've saved us. Now save yourself. You'll be out of Shah's reach, and we'll be at peace. But I only just found you again after all this time. I can't lose you again. We'll still be with you. By the Moon Maiden's grace, we'll never be far. Please, Jennifer. Guiding light for Saluna's faithful, but they robbed you from us. Now that can be righted, and we can rest. Help us, Jen. I can let go. Now I've seen your face again. Goodbye. Not goodbye. Not even close. They bring Saluna's light to dark places and offer guidance to those in need. My parents are watching over me. Let's leave this place. There's nothing more for me here. I should think. I doubt Shah will be given over to generosity. Best if I just consider them lost. I have everything I need to make new memories. As for this place, all I did here, let it stay forgotten. My parents... I saw them, spoke to them, and let them go. It's... it's more than I can take in just now. Give me a night to try and get my head together. loss can open this door. What does that mean? A patriarch's loss of power? Wealth? Or do we need to kill someone? little hideaway that we found in the cloister but remember it or not I felt right at home there surrounded by books and night orchids hm. 
Don't tempt me. Might find it hard to leave. Well, can you imagine what it would have been like growing up in that place? Endless training, no privacy, facing scorn wherever I looked. I can very easily imagine I needed somewhere to escape to, if I was to survive. I have the strangest feeling. Perhaps I had. Anyway, I think that little hideaway helped shape who I am, as much as any sermon. Shadowheart? I wasn't sure if I... Remind me? We... we trained together. We used to be close. I'm glad to see you're all right. I don't remember you. Oh. A pity. Perhaps we can talk some more later? Shah condemned me. By her decree, you and I are enemies. Only if you wish us to be. You may not remember, but... That's... Good enough. There must be all sorts you can... There are. You don't need Shah. You don't, perhaps. I'll leave come tomorrow. Don't mind if I do. Should be easy. remember these of all things. A gift from Sildenessala, Mother Superior said. Curious. I could never quite tell if she was proud of them or not. I think I might have hurt people here. Learned how to break their bodies. Quiet in here now. But it wasn't always so. Screams ran off these walls. I swear I must hear them. A cunning disguise can serve a warrior of the Dark Lady better than any armor. Tingless mannequins. <laughs> I yes, never figured Shah for a follower of fashion. Putting these on. Pretending to be someone else. I suppose that's been my whole life.
gets hot in here. Hope for gold. Ah, the rattle of the coin. They must have done a brisk trade. I wonder. Don't linger. Hello, lover. <laughs> that sounded more debonair in my head, I'll admit. Do you need something? Of course. I suppose you've earned it. Fine. What's on your mind? No notes. You've exceeded my every expectation. Even if I could have made it this far without you, I don't think I'd have wanted to. Doesn't look like anyone's been here in a while. Perhaps people lost faith. Or... forgot about it. I wanted to come here. To see if I felt anything that I hadn't done before. Now that I know what I know. Now that I know who I am. True, but too much freedom can be frightening, lonely, and there's a reason why so many are eager to bow. I had my family, for too short a moment. Now they're gone, by my 
my hand. I remember. But they can't comfort me. They can't give me advice. They can't tell me what I was like as a little girl. We carry on. It's all we can do. I'll follow in a while. I think I want to stay here a little longer, firstly. This place isn't familiar, but... It's peaceful. Shadowheart. She's as much a part of who I am as Genevieve. I can't just forget her. It's not what I do anymore. Besides, Shadowheart still suits me. Even better than before, perhaps. You can't cast a shadow without some light. And you a sight for sore eyes. And you a sight for sore eyes. Of course. I thought you'd never. I think. I couldn't have imagined how things were going to play out. What I'd gain. Who I'd lose. I've had my eye on you. Hot as brimstone and seething like the... You're hungry for pleasures beyond this plane. Something more satisfying than mortal flesh, blood, and bone. Oh, but do hear me out. The ecstasy... Smile, or don't. And know the eternal ache of the unknown and the unanswered. Then we'll keep it our little secret. Dear me, trust me. Over here. Thank you. 
Keep it quick. Wonderful little beast. Nimble as anything. A man of means, judging by his attire. He looks like a merchant or a junior council member. But right now, he's without care, entranced by a tree. There was a squirrel in the tree. Marvelous creature, inquisitive and nut-crazed. time. I had to wait for, oh, I don't even know how long to catch a glimpse. You wouldn't happen to know where I live, would you? I am, I am very pleased to meet your acquaintance. And you are? This is more than a lapse, you sense. Something's been done to the man's memories. Well, I remember I was sad, but in truth, I'm not quite sure what caused it. I'm not even sure I know what sad is anymore. And I came from that building over there. They were very nice to me, seemed very helpful. Though, for the life of me, <laughs> I can't recall what I was doing there in the first place. There must be, you would think. You know, I can swear there is someone, but their name escapes me. Hells, even their face escapes me. <laughs> A figment of my imagination, perhaps. <laughs> oh, it will come back to me. Or not. I'm content enough here, in either case. No one.
Your esteemedness returns! You must be awfully familiar with our esteemed Archduke to know about a thing like that. Likewise. Well, less of a colleague, more of a contractor. <laughs> but I digress. You seek answers. Lord Mammon seeks coin. I will happily mediate. Make me... Mammon. I knew it. I did. The first hit's free, eh? Oh, fine. I'll humor you, mortal. Just this once. You stand before Mammon's picklock. Latchkeeper of the Nine Hells. My business is not information, nor hellish curios. Not really. I break people into the Hells. That's my... I can reveal to you that I opened a portal for Lord Gortash. <laughs> my word, this is embarrassing. Perhaps I should have explained our terms better. You asked what I did for Lord Gortash. You paid the fee and I answered you. Our pact is comp... You are just no fun. Adjusting for inflation, the appreciable value of knowledge, Lord Mammon's tithe. Then to piecemeal information we return. You wish for more knowledge? Make me an offer. Oh, yes. I should think that'll do deliciously. Lord Gortash wanted to steal something from Mephistopheles. So I punched a... P and then I... Oh, gosh. My fickle memory... F I mean, I suppose that'll do. Stingy bastard. Gortash stole the crown of Carsus. Pissed off Mephistopheles, but rather intrigued another devil by the name Raphael. His House of Hope is furnished with a great deal of treasures, many related to Carsus. But alas, he lacks the crown itself. He's rather ambitious. Perhaps it's time we paid Raphael a visit. What a fascinating proposition. Ludicrous, of course, but fascinating nevertheless. Very well. If you wish to die in Avernus, that's your business. Mine is char- Of course, such a ta- Such a task would be tantamount to suicide. Do not even entertain it. You put me in a difficult position, mortal. You are almost certain to fail. Almost. And so, there is a chance you might succeed. Fine. I'd like to be able to carry all of my precious stock without the need of a team of oxen. There are gauntlets of hill giant strength within the House of Hope. Allow me to up first. You were never second. You oh, take. This Along with the grimoire and component. Finally.
strongly suggest that you reconsider this course of action. Whatever you expect to gain from the Hells is not worth the risk of traveling here. Uninvited. There is no reason to provoke him by invading his home. Gods, I can't believe I'm doing this. We're gonna get out of here, right? Get in, get the hammer, and go. Easy. We won't get trapped here. We won't get dragged deeper into a furnace. We won't. On the bright side, my engine finally feels normal. Like it isn't about to explode. <sighs> I gotta admit, that's pretty nice. Let's find that hammer and get out of here before I get used to feeling like I might live. Kim, it's 
such a shame. Curiosity killed all the cats. It won't be so kind to you. As the woman speaks, you hear a distant rattle of chains, and she winces in pain. <sighs> the jailer will hear us. I shouldn't be talking to you. I must go. It's not kind to me. The figure flickers and starts to dim from view, but you sense she could be convinced to return. The figure shimmers brightly. Your words seem to have piqued her curiosity. I hope so. But it is a faint hope. Just like me. I can't leave. I could only suffer. But I'm supposed to do that in silence. Everyone here hates me for what I am. I'm the thing that kills you and the only reason you're alive. I am hope. What little a guttering candle in a unit Raphael's driven her mad. Poor soul. I'm not much of a friend to anyone anymore. But I could use a friend myself. D do you want a friend to guide you through this madhouse? I hear the jailer. It hears me. It'll call Raphael, make every question count. Make some of them count twice. an ancient gift prince in need of a savior the orphic hammer is the perfect tool for breaking all infernal chains hope can help the hammer is here in this house it's you hear a sound like the rattle of a chain and an agonizing scream in your head as hope flickers from view momentarily Shh. here is mad even you especially me and that makes them dangerous but it also makes them stupid i'll make you seem as ruined as the rest of the people here a simple glamour to make you a terrible wretch <laughs> now whisper your questions little wretch but really quiet and very clever concentrate and the monsters and the humongous balls of fire. You can't help me! You can't even help yourself! You're gonna die here! You ask after me rather than your own heart's desire. It would bring a tear to my eye if I had not shed them all so long ago. The hammer is the key for you and for me. place you'll find your sorry little soul when Raphael rips it out. In the archive down the corridor past the debtor. Oh, the debtors. They won't like you. But I like you. I know I do. I think I do. I hope I do. I just need to ask one question and I'll know for sure. Can you save me? Please, 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 please! You don't even know how. All right. You have to listen very, very, very closely. I will say this only once. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. But be careful when you take the hammer. The fire will come, and Raphael, you must run, 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 run. But don't forget me. 
Please, please, please. I don't want to burn. Not again. We won't. We'll get you out. I promise. The rattle of chains echoes louder from unseen places. And without a scream or a sigh, hope disappears. There's nothing. What do you seek? I cannot help you. This is not my home. Even I was an architect and I... A builder of tombs and temples. But mostly of towers. My proudest work reached for the stars and sought to dry Seluna's tears. It was a monument to life and to virtue, and a happy deaths in the family. Happiness rarely lasts a lifetime. When tragedy came, my master fell into darkness and despair. He marshaled a great army to ruin the world and bring all into shadow. I could not let it happen. I sought out the devil. Raphael, and signed an infernal pact with him. He promised to destroy my master's army, and I promised him my soul in return. The devil was true to his word. Fiends slaughtered my master's forces, but he endured somehow, and blighted the land. You know my work. Oh, I am glad it endures. Perhaps you also have the misfortune of knowing my master. Gen then all came to pass as I had hoped. <laughs> Though a century too late for my family and friends. Your actions may have justified the price of my soul. <laughs> I thank you. Tell me, what became of my pride? What became of Moonrise Towers? I did not think it possible. Thank you. My spirit smiles for the first time in a century. Now go. Finish your business here and leave while you can. Speaking is steep, but I must give warning. Your prize is just ahead in the archive, but you trigger the alarm, and Raphael will. In this high thieves are melted. Shh. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. I can. I shall. I can. I shall. The archivist is the key. But he's as stubborn as a king, and as serious as a heart attack. Exploit his fiddling weakness and make him grovel! Oh no. They hear me. Speak quickly, speak softly. You know how this goes.
You study your mind and prepare your questions. He fears authority figures. Perhaps his teacher took a strap to him and left a deep impression at an early age. There's one regular visitor that he particularly fears. She is... A crack like breaking bone. Hope winces. Virilius. Virilius Receptor. A High Inquisitor of Zariel. Officially entitled to audit Raphael's collection. Her true form is so gargantuan and mind scarring to behold that she takes on many guises when she visits. Play your part well, and you can be one of those blasphemous. Resist the faintest hint of a temptation, can you? That little disguise Hope gave you is adorable. I can see right through it, of course. He's going to notice you nosing around. Why don't you run off and tell him, Carilla? You love tattling to Daddy, don't you? Me? This is home base. I'm not even going to ask what you're doing here. Plausible deniability. Might want to steer clear of my sister Hope, though. She's mad as a March hare. If she'd just agreed to serve Raphael, he'd probably have released her a lot. As things stand, she's his favorite toy. We're all mad here. But Hope and Hell? Why, that's the definition of insanity. She is, though we've got about as much in common as a princess and a pauper. Raphael offered her the world. She didn't want it. He sweetened the deal. She said no. No matter how many times he upped the ante, she just laughed in his face. He didn't like that. Eventually, he took her by force trapped her and swore he wouldn't let her go till she gave him what he wanted. The stubborn ass has endured more torment than any soul should be able to. Even when he took all of her skin, she held on to hope. Raphael finds that puzzling. And he loves... You want my advice? Enjoy whatever life remains to you. When Raphael... A guest? Are you a client? I do not believe you were invited. One more. His eyes flicker back and forth as if he is reading a book. He has the schedule memorized, or it's carved into his eyelids. Most irregular. The schedule is all but clear, and yet you are here. And apologies, O oh majestic magistrate of the infernal court. I would prostrate myself before you and kiss your calluses. But my spine, you do know how Raphael likes to play. As always, the archive is yours to peruse. You'll find every...
show your invitation. Show your invitation. Splendid to see you again, Inquisitor. A fine pair, an amulet that caused and awaiting installation. We have secured a rod. You may examine them, O oh, diabolical dominatrix. <laughs> Stolen from Mephistopheles by an exquisite, as it was created as part of the special cult. I suggest you wait until Raphael. It is where Raphael, the resident of the Bood. Archivist told you to cool off in the boudoir. Well, here it is. A horrid place where pleasure is pain and pee. Pain is pleasure and never by choice. Icky and sticky and grimy and slimy. Everything in this house exists for Raphael's pleasure and Raphael's pleasure alone. That includes Raphael himself. Whatever form he takes. Little mouse is running through the house. Oh, God. What the fuck have I stumbled into? A thief in the night, greedy and here to take. Why are you here, little thief? Do not lie. Try again. But this is your last chance. Raphael? Ha! No. You will have a far crueler master than Raphael soon. But what inspired you to pay him a visit? Hmm. Raphael, this is very naughty. Why don't we play a game? You win. There is one way to leave here alive, darling. You will make a pr- Impish, here!
making my move. Put him up. What's it gonna take? Well, look what we have here. Oh, no. The archives will be a walk in the park now. In the twisted strokes of the artist's brush, you sense the fragments of a forsaken soul laid out in reds, blues, and yellows.
mine now. What are we here? <sighs> when is the door not a door? When it's a jam jar! We won't find a way out here. This is the Chamber of Eagles. This is how Raphael can... And it's how he stalks his prey! Oh, they're in. If you stare into the portals long enough, your mind starts... It's one of my favorite... But you have no time to... What you need from the house... Menzo Baranza, the jewel of the Underdark, lies beyond. <laughs> Thank the gods it's not working. Luskin was a fine city once. Well, this portal leads directly to the frigid citadel of Mephistalti Air, the Badger of Hells. Baldur's Gate Water lies deep. beyond the crown of the north. Neverwinter, jewel of the north. The splendid city of Atkatla hums beyond the portal. What's in here? The Orphic Hammer has caught your eye. It really is a magnificent exhibit. Hold. There it is. It appears to be protected by an energy field of some kind. The magic blinks away at you. Ready yourself. Raphael won't give up his treasure without a fight. on them.
magnificent. Battle favors the fearless. Gods, it's hot in here. Down the hatch.
bright idea. Enjoy this. Forever dauntless. I know just what to do. I swing the it's time to fly this cup on a hope and a prayer. You sound so
enemy's fool. Eat it. back. Tell me. I blush if they had left me any skin to red in and I would... You truly are the kindest fool I've ever met. We'll carve our way to the entrance hall and chop Raphael. That's the whole...
זה עבר. Keep your distance, darling.
Defender of the people. <gasps> Watch your back. How about this? <sighs> Enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. color is blood. Time slows for a moment, and the air becomes thicker. The master of the house is coming. You. There are many things in your world that I loathe. Litters of kittens, chattering children, the noise, and the chaos of it all. In my world, in my house, there is order, and there is decorum. You came here uninvited, and you stole from me. In doing so, you brought the chaos of your world into mine. I will not abide it. You think I'm on your side? The only reason you're here is because Raphael allowed you to be. I permitted you the freedom to decide your own fate. You could have been smart, selfless, saved the world. Instead, you came here and risked everything. It's the fatal flaw of mortal kind. Take away their free will and they call you a tyrant. Allow them to indulge it and they become tyrants. You would have been heroes if you'd only dealt fairly with me. Instead, you're not so different to doomed Cassus, overreaching your limits and burning your world to ash. Wrong! 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 They will save their world and smash you to smithereens. It's this charming naivety that makes your company such a joy to me. I'll even forgive this little rebellion once you're suitably chastised. This isn't a rebellion. It's a revolt. I'm revolting! <laughs> then hope dies today. Commander, you can salvage a trophy from these insects when I'm done with them. These insects struck me down beneath the Shadowlands. They are worthy opponents. Their skulls will make fine trophies. <laughs> to stand against a devil in his own home. That takes courage. I'm with you. How tiresome. Am I to understand that you wish to die with them? I wish to fight with them. It's all the same in the end. If you have any last words, make it quick. It will only take a moment to finish you. Right. 
I might have to wait another hundred years, maybe a thousand. But my time will come. Your time is over, little mouse. Now, down comes the claw. in the cause, curtain falls, but hold your applause, squirm, squirm, for now down here come the claws.
This should work. place.
effect in the wars. Curtain falls, but hold your applause. Squirm, squirm, for now down here come the roars. in the cause. Curtain falls, but hold your applause. Squirm, squirm, for now down here come the claws.
This is my happy place.
Stress that any of us are alive. No, we were not. Pinch yourself and check we're not dreaming the last of our lives as we die screaming. <laughs> you are wide awake, and Raphael truly is defeated. Then we're not just fine, we're spectacular. What a wonderful, jubilant, glorious day. Oh, but my poor sister, Carilla. It is not right that she died. And that makes me want to weep an ocean. She was an entire person before she ever made that choice. When we were children, she always kept the last piece of pastry for me and bloodied the nose of the bullies who pulled my hair. She was my sister. But as a wise woman once said, there's no point in crying over spilt blood. We must go on. And despite all the years I've lost, I have enough love in my heart to guide you home. For the first time since you heard her voice, hope seems calm, and the peace flows from her into you, soothing your very soul. And go where? I don't think I quite know how to be anywhere else but here anymore. With a lick of paint and a thorough cleaning, this could be a lovely little house. And I can hardly leave. After all, who would ever want to think of hell without hope? I hope I'll see Carilla again one day, and that she'll say sorry, and I'll tell her she's forgiven. I hope I find all the pieces of my mind that fell out of my head over all those years and that I'll be able to put myself back together again. I hope 
the echoes of pain will fade, and memories of sorrow will die, and that you'll visit me here someday. And I hope you have a happy ending of your own. It's uncooperative. Fought well. We could use such strength in the Blood War. You did us a favor, Yurgir, so I'm going to let that slide. <sighs> now I'm free of Raphael's blasted contract. I can return to the front lines. Hunting shadows in a temple for a hundred years was a break. I'd have slain a score of demons before you have your next hot meal. <laughs> Whoever your enemies are, they have good reason to fear you. And I'll gladly lend you my skills against them when the time comes. Until then, good luck to you, little rabbit. You're a finer hunter than any wolf. Lair. Risked mind, limb, and freedom. All to steal. I hope your ambitions end there. I have already told you that the Githyanki Prince only wants to see you dead. But it seems you still do not. of one another is we must not make the same mistake we must work together and what then when he wakens from his incarceration what do you think he will make of you the one who bears the spawn his very nature bends him to revile and even if you survived him what of the Elder Brain? Without the protection I leverage for you, you would be enthralled in an instant. Careful. You will make a mind flayer laugh. You may think yourself ingenious for having slain a devil. But you have merely ironed out a wrinkle. The Elder Brain will not be... It is time to resume our journey. <sighs> Had a nice break in the hells. Now that we're back, my engine's in overdrive again. 
Let's move. What a day. I could really use some shutter. Talk straight. Gortash isn't going to find out about this, is he? I don't fancy the look of those prisoners. Could go for a good meal. Don't touch me. Over there. It's not a lie. If you would just listen, I could explain 
You have done quite enough explaining, Volothamp Gadam. You have poisoned the very hearts and minds of these good, kind, gentle citizens with your lies, your delusions, your conspiracies. Though you hide behind a mask... Hear, hear! Attention seeker! Hear, hear! Agent of chaos! Your parasite stirs in recognition. This man is infected. Rack the hells follow! Today, citizens... Psst. Don't you stand there! Help me, goddammit! Help me! By the gods, do something! Or are you going to let them blow up the poor guy? What's this? Another heretic in our midst? Another mind clouded by the dis... Well, we... Sharp as ever. That's the last of Raphael. I'll be glad to no longer have to suffer his smug face. Of course. I thought you'd never ask.
Umbly. Um, oh, sorry. Are you here for Wave Servant Holly's funeral? Oh, it's already. St no, no. May the Wave Mother. Joy's sisters, her lips blue with umble is murder. How dare we will f not a skew supplicant. What tribute do you bring to honor the wave mother's fallen door? Yes, your tribute is well received. Breathe deep as she pun Holly. Blessed umble, it was a beast, a rusting pollutant that bleed the beast struck. She would have suffered a terrible, agonized. The queen. Find the master of this poisonous be salt kiss. <laughs> Glorious wave mother. Pour fury upon Making me sweat. in here. your back. Asking 
the impossible. Gyronetics require a steady hand and a sharp gaze. I can barely keep my eyes open. I need to rest. You have a son, do you not? Is he as lazy and pathetic as his spineless mother? Wait! Stay your hand, I beg you! Prinsky's motivation sequence activated. Tell me, Gondian. Tell me about your son. He's not... <sighs> yes. Overseer Holt. And your wife? She is... I will allow it. Recognize the overseer's uniform. She's a follower of Bane. The god of tyranny. We beg, even if we hew. What was that? I said. Prinsky's motive. No, the motivator. Dead? They're all dead? No. You don't... The Overseers hold more than our lives hostage. They have... our families. And if they see what we've done, killing me will only be the beginning. God help us. So much Three. blood. One problem at a time. The smell. Yeah. Deal with the bodies. If I hide the corpses, the smell will attract them. Oh my god! Right now, God help! There's so much blood! I could cut them up. Or perhaps incinerate them. What if I get caught? Gate betrays your presence, stranger. Blackaith! Why? Your presence imperils us all. If any of us attempts to escape, our kin will die. The Overseers, they have a contraption. When triggered, it will kill everyone who wears a collar. You want 
The collars are not only equipped. One of us may be able to save themselves, but it would be at the expense of... Even if we did our fat, we cannot win. We must aid and build gun gun. Aye. Just make sure you... I will pray gun Ralfraka's whole niche. Patience. It hasn't been long.
great idea.
mission sequence some blood.
This is my time. Just what to do.
here. Don't mind if I do. The inscription reads, Fresh supplies for the steel watch, courtesy of necromancer Balthazar. A brainless zombie. Uh, I mean, more brainless than usual. Have you found them? Our families. That makes sense. The Bay Knights must have a way of getting to and from the prison. Obelia, I would do anything to hug you again. So much blood. Cut them up. Perhaps he incinerate them. Catching a ten day or more. We'll have to watch them all. Married oh, never feel that. You pay for I ain't sending leave. This is life and death for me, too, mate. You only get as many births on my sloop as you can pay for. If I allow any freeloaders, my own crew will scrag me. Very well, I'll do it. <sighs> the armory, the 
fished these waters my whole life. Right. I'll go 600. Good looking. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Hmm, let's see. Damn, it's good to be alive. Caught lurking around the Sword Coast, most secure bank without permission. The guards are understandably upset. You are permitted to pass with your. of a book father kept hidden in a drawer. The Salty Mermaid. Do you know of it, Shadowheart? That's no bloodstain. It's oil. Something sprung a leak.
us. Ready for another round? That might be worth a look. Interesting. Just be quick. Oi! A submersible. It matches the description of the vehicle that brought the Gondian hostages into the Iron Throne. No news is good news. No prisoners locked. Blood is sh Maybe they'll teach them to keep out of the way. You test it. It's an underwater. Lord Gort. All the Raven Guard is here. If he is, that's Lord Gortash's business. I don't ask questions. Oh, yeah? And are you here to make good on that? Bloody mermaids. I'll take you in. But look. There's some bad shit going down in there. You don't want to get involved. Neither did I, but it was them or me. I'll get Cat warmed up. Get in when you're ready. Aren't you the intrepid little adventurer, digging and diving where you don't belong? Why ever would I do that? The Iron Throne is their home. It is the most useful tool for motivating my Gondian workforce. Key to the construction of the steel watch that keep the city safe. But like all tools, the moment it ceases to be useful, I will break it. Thanks to your trespassing, that moment may have come. Return to the docks, or the deaths of everyone inside will be on your conscience. Your mind turns to the Gondian hostages, bound Futures hanging by a thread in Gortash's web. That? Hold. A cold, suckering wetness grasps at your mind. 
A voice familiar to you from the Underdark wraps itself around your brain. You must act with haste. Duke Ravenguard is held within these walls. He must be extracted. Ravenguard is held in the security wing. Be careful. There are many hazards. This structure is collapsing. Act with speed. Act with efficiency. Destroy them! And quickly! We need to find my father! The dance macabre. Fearless, finding my way.
Do you believe in God?
mate. A bargain's a bargain. Mia Fjord. What are you doing? Exactly what you... Now, stand back. Get running, lads. We might be rid of this shite hole yet. Need to hurry. Get away from these fish freaks.
is my happy place. Dauntless.
calmness greets you upon exiting the submersible. Unlike the Iron Throne, you remain intact. So, it seems, will the families of all the hostages rescued from the throne. Duke Ravenguard approaches you, looking confused. He's tackled, but under my protection now, just like you. His mind is his own again. Father? Well, God, it pains me to look at you. By Baldrin's graces, why have the hells ordained you to save me? Your tadpole resonates with Raven Gods. The exhausted Grand Duke is a flurry of emotion. By every last hell, son, I own my head! Raven Guard's head still aches so powerfully the pain seeps into you. The Absolute may be silenced, but the Duke's parasite still remains. I know you have questions. Please go to our camp. You'll be safe there. We'll talk soon enough. Raven Guard answers with silence. He and Will have much to discuss. Gods, we made it. We actually made it. Go then. Oh god! Bloody hells! I was a goner. My sincerest. My lord. I'll say. Still hurt. Please, I want to ask you something. Please. I just. I. You... you saved us! Saved us all! I thought it impossible, but... but you did it! They have no reason to obey Gortash anymore. If they rebel, it'll put a dent in Gortash's steel mine. He... he did? Of course he did! I knew it. I'll get your... Listen, lad. My God! You were so... What they were doing with us? Featherweight false. Oh, that was... A little small talk. Your world's heir. I never imagined. I owe you a great debt, child of the dark. One I shall repay. When I return to the surface, I will alert my colleagues at the Society. Find me there, and I will offer you what aid I can against this evil. Father will be waiting in camp. It's about time we talk. to administer Umbali's justice. Instead, you conspire with... Gods, they're not. You have to... Step out of the way. Protect him and um... Umbali will swallow... Your lies won't save you. Give us the abomination or be... What? Mate, you've got to be kidding. Come quietly. Step out of the way. 
protect him. Your lies won't save you. Then you've made your choice. Wave servants. May you wait with your lungs. is gonna fall. Fail. Gods, I need a drink and that. Here. At least I can. Now, get all these folks out of here before. Moving. Thank you. Yes, please. Better make camp soon. Might be a while before there's another chance to rest. What are we here?
I'm ready. sequence activated. to Obelia, 
Is she safe? <sighs> My heart. I thought her lost. I would give more than just my sight to keep her safe. Our destination is the Neurositor, the nerve center of the Steel Watch. Guide me there, and I'll do the rest. Your bomb will most certainly do the trick. Place it directly on the Neurositor. No more? God, let my wife be safe. this brain controls is offline for maintenance. Your tadpole, e you are a... S he said he was flaming fist. We have nothing left, and my kids are half starved. Please, let us into the city. We have nowhere else to go. Your gears whine in protest, but you force your body to one side. Thank you, sir. Oh, come on, kids. Grab your bags. Hurry. You are ki The brain in this jar is aware that its watcher is on duty in the control center. With a jerk, Va your mind is trapped. Please, Mr. Steel Watcher, sir. I'll, I'll never steal again. I swear it on my mom's life. Just let me go. You focus on the source of... What? what? You stomp on the dwarf. Bo... With a jerk, your mind is... Please, Mr. Steel Watcher, sir. I'll never steal again. I swear it on my mom's life. Just let me go. You take control, but it is a struggle. Your body freezes. So, so, I, I can go. Oh, thank you. You are kicked from the Watcher as the dwarf flees. Parasite stirs within the view are a steel watcher charging through through the streets in pursuit of a young girl. She is screaming. For a split second, you rest control. The steel watcher's leg, the little girl disappeared. The brain in this jar is controlling a watcher on sentry duty at Worms Rock. It patrols back and forth, vigilant for trouble.
This is gonna feel good.
awaits your input. the automaton you encountered in the Underdark. How did it come to be here? Traffic radiates in waves from this semi elithid globe, and your tadpole throbs in blissful response. This viosita awaits your input. Rossiter is the epicenter of the Steel Watch. Its technology is far beyond anything you have ever seen. You will need more than magic or steel to do this. This will destroy the Foundry, wiping it from the face of the Forgotten Realms.
That was a hell of a show, my friend. Watchers collapse in the street as we speak. And the foundry... The scent of rune powder drifts through the city like a warm embrace. I see my bomb did the trick, but it's not over. So long as a single parasitic Gondian remains, Baldur's Gate is under threat. Enough, Warbrun. Gortash enslaved us, forced us to build his steel watches, but no more. Take the city, let the Iron Hands reign supreme. I just wish to go home and hold my daughter. He'll never find us. Please. <laughs> if a Gondian told me the sky was blue, I'd look outside and... You Gondians will lie, scheme, and torment. Walbrin, enough! I won't watch as you poison your soul and the brilliant future that remains to the Iron Hand Gnomes. I thought the Iron Hand Gnomes had corrupted you, Walbrin. Now, I wonder if it wasn't the other way around. Kill the Gondians, and you kill all we love. Collaboration, challenge, solving problems with the power of reason, creativity, and invention. I still want to believe you're better than that, Walbrin. But even I am having my doubts. I say... I say you're right. They deserve a leader who'll encourage them to create, not destroy. They deserve someone like me. I can't save you from yourself, Wolprin. It hurts terribly. But I can't. Toss your values in the bin if you want. But don't throw out the iron hands with them. This is ridiculous. Iron Hands, kill this man. How dare you? Cowards! The Gondians recognize Barkus Root as leader of the Iron Hand Gnomes and look forward to ushering in a new peace between our factions. It is with a heavy heart that I remove Wolbrin Bongle from our ranks. You have until first light to leave the city. Wolbrin. I expect treachery from all sides, but you, little Barkus, the boy who followed me from the Underdark, who clung to me like moss to stone. When we next meet, my hammer will cleave your skull in two, and that is a promise. Well, here we are. A most unexpected outcome. I am many things. A leader is not one of them. But no time like the present to learn. And I can't do any worse than Walbrin. Sorry as I am just... I don't know when he became so angry. So violent. But I'm glad to say I see the truth of it now. At last. Thank you. I may have lost Walbrin, but I found a far preferable ally. Friend, even. 
Now, uh, myself and the Iron Hand gnomes have much to disentangle. But when you're ready to face what's waiting for you, believe me, we will be at your side. <clears throat> uh, um, shoe, then. For now. My friend. I think it is past time. Tell me, what can the society do for you? It is pleasurable to see you. Your intervention within the cult's underwater complex was a timely one. I am glad my carelessness did not cost the life of Duke Ravenguard. That you also saved me was unexpected. I too feel some warmth at your presence. Your inclination to generosity is an admirable quality, one I wish to reciprocate. Blurg and I have consulted on the matter of your reward. We first thought to ask the denizens of the Underdark for their aid in fighting the cult. Alas, our influence there remains negligible. Instead, we have selected a series of items from the society's vaults. Given my kind's involvement in creating this evil, it is only right that I do my part in helping you defeat it, or at least improving your odds. tells me we know the risks when we go out into the field, but to lose my friend in such a way, if there's any... Con our research there must continue. We'll depart when this abs... I hope our gifts will provide you with some meaningful assistance in fighting the evil of Meloum uncovered. Do let us know how you get on. Thank you. 
So you escaped from the Iron Throne. Indeed. I find I know. Why, hello, lover. <laughs> that sounded more debonair in my head, I'll admit. Do you need something? Of course. Just the one? First you cleave my heart in twain, now you shatter it to pieces. My son, a monster. Twist it beyond recognition, to think my blood flows through those veins. Is this my fate? To be freed from Gortash's hell, only to be trapped in yours? It isn't what you think. It never was. You turned your back on me, on your city to chase the she-devil and her power. She stinks up the place even now. It is exactly what I think. There is always a choice. Father, please. There's something I must show you. Raven God's tadpole clenches as your memories and wills flow into him. My tears rose. I'm in your... The Grand Duke sees Mizora and her infernal sisters. He sees the agony in Will's face as an impossible choice is set before him. No. My son. The past becomes present, and Will's thoughts are laid bare. Ravenguard sees Will partnering with Mizora to defeat Tiamat's cultists before they could lay siege to Baldur's Gate, and he sees everything beyond. The Nautiloid journey, the perilous path to Moonrise. Well, everything I did, I did for Baldur's Gate. I did for you. All too right, my son. You sold your soul to save Baldur's Gate, and I cast you out for it. You gave yourself to the Hell's eternal fire so I might walk free. By the gods. Can you ever forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. You wanted to protect the city. I only ever wanted the same. You are a better man than most, and a better son than I deserve. I'll yet make amends, but... My duty is first and foremost to the city and its people. There's something I must ask of you. Before I was captured, I was on a mission. Returning from Elterel, I discovered the plans of the Absolutists. I immediately ran. I didn't despair. Because the city has a... This is such a time. You've been trained in the ways of the great champions and proven to be a bronze dragon. The worm goes by. He promised Baldurin. Since then, the city, the Absolute, is the... Take this. Let it set the path before you. Baldur's Gate stands on the brink of the abyss. My Will, may the city know the truth of...
You wish to consult me? I do not want a devil to hold. I say we put the devil from our minds and trust in ourselves. If anyone... From the still, dark waters of Lake Donegarden to the black academies of Tearbresh, it is a city of wonders and terror. But it is not my home anymore. If I were to return, I would be denied all of its wonders and shown. I am a daughter of Menza Baranzan's most ancient and powerful house, the Bainry. I lived a life of privilege. My home was at the tallest point of Guel Arzor. I enjoyed every luxury, whether harvested in the Underdark or... I tasted her blood that day. She covered my body with her own, and a blade bit deep into her chest, almost puncturing her heart. When I came of age, she tried to take my life herself, and I gave her fresh scars to match those she earned. <laughs> I expect so. If the world were to end, I think my mother would survive to rule over the ruins. She taught me to be resilient and to guard my heart from those who cannot be trusted, literally and figuratively. When I choose to let somebody close, I do not do so lightly. That gives a great depth of meaning to the bonds I do share. Yes? Nothing so grand. There was a time when... But he slunk back into his father. Ask it. Hmm. So we try to work towards a common balance. <laughs> if every other fact... Soldier. Oh, thank the gods it's over, I say. My last trip to the Hells ever, ever. No such thing as a home in the Hells. If Hope's happy, good for her. Stick around in Avernus long enough. No, soldier. I'd rather live out my... I don't know much. What's on your mind? to the city's aid when it is in need. He is oath-bound to do so. Hells, Floric. While the absolute... She stood by me even as the Hell's fires lapped at my feet. <sighs> Tremendous news. I couldn't bear it if she died by my cup. I was retired. It wasn't the heat that... I would. Well, the rest goes without saying. A complicated... I went to greet Elturel's hut. I have been touched by Avernus. Mmm. Delicious. We'll finish what my father couldn't. O oh, Balderin. Founder due veneration. His guardian dragon answered tremendous in worth. I say... View below our eternal elation. It's not just a tale. It's a history. Consider this. To worm way neath prison's deepest level. Then this. With the shock of a true hero's spark flickers, the torture this dragon Onsaw was Balderin's ally. We'd be fools to let him sleep while the dead three's chosen raised the city. It's complicated. It's a flurry of emotion. I'm not sure how to mix. 
sense of it. <laughs> Joy. To my father, I was only a... Once all this is ended, once we've crushed the brain and freed the people, I could once more call Baldur's Gate home. Whether I return there, well... Mind flayers are like devils. They're clever, manipulative. And maybe it's true. Maybe Ste... Or maybe he made an offer she couldn't refuse. The Absolute's voice is gone, but I still hear its echo.
Subtle steps. Those clanking great steel watchers. Oi! Right. You look harmless enough. The commander keeps an open house, so you may pass. I'm not a sent. Make a habit of just let my mother's not here, if that's who you've come to see. So you're not here to see her. Who are you then? Is a bold thief who would just stroll into the druid Jahira's home? She's she's alive. Who are you to her? A harper? General. We'd heard of the cult army heading this way. I assumed she died trying to stop it. But she's alive. Everyone! She's alive! Bring her here so we can kill her. Bring Mum back. That's curious. Certainly. in here begging for a drink, I'm sure. It's a bleeder! Uh, do it yourself. What do you want, brick? Uh, do it yourself. to the old brides anyway. Stupid of them if you ask me. Side of the city walls. An intruder. These people are under my protect. Hearken to my words, wicked creature. Return to the pit of evil from. Don't listen. Who knows what spells it weaves around us? Quickly, cleric. Helm, 
protector of all, grant me the power to ignite this creature's flesh and burn its bones to ash. Be gone, monster. Your hag mother. Wait. Clyde smells no lie. Then you speak truth. You fought a hag before. At ease, everyone. We may have found ourselves an ally. Forgive the paranoia. We're being hunted by a vile and wicked hag. We feared you, her minion. She's already hexed one of us, and any of us could be next. Because we dared to do the impossible. We dared to fight back. You see, all of us here have fallen victim to a hag's vicious ways. Thanks to Mayrina, only... Mayrina's been hexed by the very hag who now hunts us. You're the one that saved her. The one that ventured to the depths of Ethel's lair. I can hardly believe it. You look so... normal. By Helm, perhaps there is hope. If anyone can help Mayrina, it's you. She's upstairs. But be warned. She's not as you remember her. <laughs> That's a creepy doll. <laughs> That's just awful. <laughs> What a creepy doll. Oh, that's just awful. <laughs> a long way to go still.
with my hex. Uh, I wanted to play a little longer. Auntie likes her toys broken. She's not going to be happy I had to... ...get my hands dirty. I don't matter. They want to hurt Auntie. They have the book. I will die before I let anyone touch... ...your hair on her head. Ha! Huh. You have... <laughs> Thanks for knifing the bastard. That makes twice you've saved me. I'm starting to think you're my guardian angel. You too. I've come a long way since we last met. Decided I was sick and tired of feeling stupid. Helpless. So I decided I wasn't going to be a victim anymore. This group is made of survivors. People like me who've been hurt by hags. I brought them together to fight back. We trapped a hag to the city, but lost her trail. Right after she snatched a little girl. <sighs> what hag doesn't? Best guess says it's close to where the mother lives, but I've no hard evidence. The moment I started investigating the missing girl, I felt the hag's eye on me. Next thing I was sprouting wool and bleating up a storm. Thank you. With you at our side, that hag won't know what hit her. Check the safe in the back. I've done my homework on hags since we last tangled with Ethel. Take whatever you need. Laura was knocking about Basilisk Gate at the Flaming Fist's headquarters. Good luck. My fault. Mayrina was hex. That's no ex. Mayrina was right. I can't believe one of our own was a wet cap. I've seen it before. Had a hat. Thank you. What's in here?
what are we here? Of course, madam. Let me just... <sighs> Forgive me, why are you here? Is this some kind of sick joke? Do you have any idea what I've been through these past few days? <laughs> yes, her name is Vanra. This stupid, useless fist said she had a lead, but she must have been stuck in dream mist or something. Madam, tell me. You said... <sighs> she was... <sighs> <sighs> taken from a tavern? You catch the barest tendrils of magic coiled around the flaming fist. Yes. Blushing mermaids down by the docks. I told you a hundred times. Why aren't you listening? Someone or something has tampered with her memory. What, um... What were we discussing? in my Vanra. She's just lost. That's all. What? I'm so afraid. And so tired. I've been looking night and day everywhere I could. I've no family. And Vanra's father isn't around. A flame and fist were my last resort. You will? Thank you. I haven't slept to read since she disappeared. I'm terrified something has happened to her. Her name is Vanra. She's seven years old and has red hair, like me. We were in the Blushing Mermaid when she was taken, just up by the docks. No, unless you count a couple of old drinking mates at the next table. But they'd be no help. They barely remember their own names. I was sober, though. I swear. I stop in the maid for a drink sometimes. But it was only a quick one. And of course, the front of the house, Boston Gannett was there. And the owner of the Blushing Mermaid, Captain Grizzly. Neither lifted a finger to help me look. It was awful. Thank you. I'll head home. Can't stand being around these idiots any longer. Come find me the moment you hear anything. as fast as I can.
something over there. That thing is tiny, and I am not. You're going on a date? So? I'll be back by then. Mate, you'd be late to your own funeral. Look, skip... ...the date, and I'll take you out the next time we port, all right? Her eyes shine with concern and love. That of more than a friend. But, yeah, I'm worried about you, mate. The ship wouldn't be the same without you. Oh, come on. You know I'm a sucker for that soppy shit. Fine, no date. But let's say we grab another one here for the road. My tree. Deal. So? Nowhere, if you don't... If you had to choose the rat one or the blonde one... You're all right. Bosun! So. If you're here to complain that the booze tastes like piss, I know. And the guards are above. Not again. You pull a knife on me like the last one, and you're getting a boot, you hear? I've killed people with a splinter, mate. Of course I'm wary of a blade. Lara Laura was her name. Started tearing the place apart, screaming about some kid. Whew, bloody disturbing it was. Captain Grizzly had to clock her in the end. Threw her out on her arse. Good riddance. If you're here for the music, look. Oh, Cap, a few seconds. 
Hung over in peace. Oh, why, hello there. Captain Grizzly at your service. What can I do for a long drink of water like yourself? <laughs> Sharp eyed, aren't you? But you missed a few. I may not sail the seas anymore, but that doesn't mean I'm not ready for trouble. So behave. Oh, not this claptrap again. Listen, Laura was here, all right? Knocking back pints like there's no tomorrow. But she was alone. I saw head nor ass of this so-called kid. And when we tried to kick her out, she pulled a knife on my front man. Bet she didn't tell you that bit, huh? But not a soul has seen this so-called vanna of hers, myself included. Look, I know Laura from my pirating days. She ran with Bart Blackdagger's crew. Heard they tossed her overboard when she gutted the bosun over a game of cards. Now, I'd no beef with her before this. All are welcoming the maid. But threatening my staff, claiming we took her kid, she's bonkers. <laughs> Dangerous. Next time she pulls a knife on me and mine, someone might die. Something has to be, be done. Gods! Do I have to spell it out for you? There is no child. Laura is mad as a box of frogs. She's dangerous. And I couldn't call myself a captain if I stood by and did nothing. I hate that it's come to this, but I'll pay a hoard of gold to whoever scuppers her permanently. No less insane than lying about having a kid. If you don't do it, I'll find someone else. You can make it painless. Not everyone will. <sighs> oh, well. Guess I'll just decorate the room with your insides. They'll match my new carpet beautifully. Hello, Petal. Miss me? Marina ran off with the child I was promised. Because of you. So I had to find myself a new one. And little Vanra was so very Tasty. I'm already showing. Doesn't it suit me so well? Venra sits in my belly, growing fat with power. In time, I'll vomit her up and have myself a fresh young hag to train. Unfortunately, that leaves me in a pickle. For a while, I'd love to rip your guts out. I shouldn't. 
Exertion is bad for the baby, you know. So, walk away. Walk away and let me a fine hag make. You'll kill me, touch me, and the girl dies. And I'll simply return, stronger than ever. <laughs> A woman in my condition should be relaxing in the bath, not dealing with this nonsense. I'll leave you to my crew, matey. And should you somehow survive, stay away. Our van will suffer. Gotta finger your eye holes. <laughs> idea. time.
Of course, this is Ethel's doing. The whole thing stinks of hell. Here I go. Watch the shadows.
definitely looks cursed enough to be a hag's lair. Traps. How considerate. Taking the child with her.
was unconscious, her stomach bulging from the child she ate.
favors the fearless. There's blood in the air.
Raided warships, but Ethel? Umberly's tits. Then you showed up, armed to the teeth. You could have killed me. Be right to. Knowing and doing, you're welcoming. Keep a blade close. Have you seen on? A very impenetrable. Really? Auntie! Auntie, has my... Don't mind if I do. Keep your distance, darling. <sighs> All right. Time to see what new horror's waiting for us. Let's hope for gold. Watch your back. All right. Please, no, I'll wretch. Traps. How considerate. Hmm. What's that? Have you come to swear yourself? To Shiraz? Yes, and no. Your kind has lost their way in their worship of the feline of Felicity. You only hold to... Now, will you heed our mother's call and bolster her as she crushes the heathen? An absolute beneath that. The corpse remains silent. And it can be in a 
something you want, I promise. I shouldn't have run. My faith will guide me. The corpse does it. Step lightly. Sweet, sweet girl. And I will die, hopefully many years from now, with your name on my lips. Forever grateful for what you've done for us. Here, a token from the pirate. Everything. Pride of the gate. Trust no one. Mummy is here. Here's a tip. Latest Boulder's Mouth edition. Oh, dynamite. That Lord Gordon. You're here. May we? She's dead, isn't she? Ethel is dead. Ah, I, I felt it. I think. It was like a piece of glass had been lodged in my chest and was finally pulled free. And the girl? You saved her, right? Oh, thank the gods! 
You hear that, Connor? Ethel is dead. Oh, you didn't change back. You're still a... a zombie. I thought with Ethel gone... Never mind. I'll... I'll find another way to turn you back. Somehow. I know. Damn it. I know. Connor. I love you. I've loved you since we were kids. And you picked me bluebells and asked me to the summer fair. But you're gone. And this thing isn't you. Not anymore. Then why does it feel so terrible? Oh. Here. Thank you for killing Ethel. But I'd like you to go now. I'll be fine. I know I'm stronger than this. I just need some time. Why, hello, lover. <laughs> that sounded more debonair in my head, I'll admit. Noises coming out the old, old bright place. Louder than foxes and all through the night. What are they pulling their money for? More unmarked with My tools. name is Hunter. You can at least oh, you can not that kind of drown. What did he say? Stripes. Mm. 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 
Very well, then. Something over there. Something over there. looks at you silently. There is the slightest flicker of acknowledgement in his eyes. and blink. A rush of ink. 
ancient whispers. A new vessel. Do you have proof of your faith to our... Lord. You lie. The vessel returns. Most you hold proof of faith, but to hold unorthodox walk in blood. Certainly. Moving.
heading there. Cool. Baby. i 
ready. No holding back. Finding my way. Concentrate. My faith will guide me. Don't touch me. The Lord of Murder shall perish. But in his doom, he shall spawn a score of mortal progeny. from their passage. The Baal amulet trembles in frightened awe. Murder. Bloody murder. Who else but Baal would these symbols honor? you return once you cross Will rot on the slab. A 
worthy offering at last. <laughs> All the Lordling's pretty plans bleeding out in the gutters. And soon, your crimson will join his. I will finish what my grandfather started. Saravok brought this city to its knees, but I will be the one to slit its throat. I am Baal's Chosen. He did not fail. He carved the bedrock on which I will erect Baal's Cathedral. <sighs> when I set my blade to your neck, the murder lord will taste my domination. His true chosen, born of butchery, one fit to control the crown. Come to me, father. Set my flesh to your unholy purpose! All the look I will finish what my grandfather started. Saravok brought this city to its n He watches over me. He worships me. He built the foundations on what <sighs> come.
was nothing.
from blood we came, to blood we shall return! Healing. Ah! <laughs> 
metallic tang fills the air as the Slayer's form is drained of life. Ashes to ashes, blood to blood, you have robbed another god of his chosen. of light on something in the blood catches your eye. took her time with this one. She made sure they suffered.
Keep it quick. <sighs> Hard to believe she is dead. After all that she did to me. I do not often doubt myself. I could not have faced her without you. You are trying to raise my spirits. I appreciate it, but any joy the sight of Orin's court, there is little relief to be found. While the brain is... But we can talk of this later. It is not in a Githyanki's nature to say our language doesn't even have a phrase for it. But after releasing me from Orin, thank you. Sincerely. Ah, hmm. Well, good then. Let's carry on. Is something burdening? Yes! The hammer is ours! The means to Orpheus is... To the Undercity! When we next enter the astral... Vlakith's left hand and... Not since... <sighs> Another empty promise. Only a naive fool... I was just starting to miss the sound of your voice. Of course. Well, don't stand in ceremony. What? 
This milk, your visage speaks of ill tidings. Speak, ally mine. What trouble is he indeed? Pray tell what... <sighs> I will wring his neck until he's dead. Oh, his end... I'm coming with you. I'd like to get a few licks in. My darling, we agreed you'd scout for the nearest Salunite enclave this... I won't let you go alone. Our closest ally will accompany me, won't you? It will be a swift and fruitful chore. Hi we to this Lerone.